Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard our flight today from Shanghai Flyer to Wandering Scholar. Everyone who is watching this video likely has been a subscriber of mine, whether you've been following as early as 2015 or if you are a new member who recently joined this community. It is, however, equally likely that you don't know me on a personal level other than the name Shanghai Flyer. Only recently, when I was grounded for many months due to COVID, that I realized it's the time to move forward and to reveal the men behind the camera for the past five years. A brand that was inspired by my cultural identity and my place of birth, Shanghai Flyer witnessed the incubation of a 13 year old me dreaming to lie down flat in the stratosphere while sitting in an outrageously priced premium economy seat for 15 miserable hours. The hospitality of the aviation industry remained intruded to me until 2016, the year when I turned 14, when I had the opportunity to fly business class for the very first time in my life with the aid of Alaska mileage pilot. One can say that the life of a frequent flyer is an abyss because you never know how many miles you can conquer or how long you can obtain an elite status. Now, looking back at what Shanghai Flyer has thus far achieved, it's safe to say that the countless commutes I had between Shanghai and New York throughout my high school career not only fulfilled my dream of a life in the stratosphere, but have also brought delight to all of you. For the entirety of my time based in New York, I have never taken a single non-stop flight home to Shanghai. This will only continue as I head off to Atlanta for the foreseeable future. Student is my reality. Wandering is my identity. We have now arrived at Wandering Scholar, the coveted destination of mine, a place where I will reside as I turn 18, leaving high school and entering a life at university. It has been a pleasure and I can't wait for our next departure.